5 the diagram on the right shows a unit circle so what does it mean by unit circle that's mean this one the length of this one from the center the, the radius is 1 lah so this one is radius is 1 radius is 1 okay angle 135 mark on it based on the information in the unit circle state the value of each of the following so here sign 30 degrees so this one you must know in which quadrant so this one we know that this one is 135 right so in the second quadrant only sign is positive q1 q2 in q1 all angle is positive in q2 only sign is positive okay so here sign 135 so one sign 135 so you see here this one is negative this one and this one so just draw it back so this one the x is negative right so never mind just write the value so negative because it is at the left of the y-axis so this one is the length is 2 over 2 and this one is 2 over 2 right this one is the y and this one is the x so we can calculate the hypotenuse so hypotenuse h is equal to set set 2 over 2 square plus set 2 over 2 square so set 2 square we get set 2 square we get 2 2 square we get 4 right set 2 square this one is 2 over 4 so this one is you get 1 obviously why because this one is the radius which is 1 so this one is sine 135 so sine 135 is it it is in the second quadrant so using so cha toa so in the second quadrant so sine is opposite divided by hypo so opposite is this one is the y which is set 2 over 2 divided by this one is hypotenuse hypotenuse is 1 so we get set 2 over 2 so b secant 1 over this one so secant is actually 1 over cos 1 3 5 so we know in the second quadrant which is second quadrant the value of 90 up to 180 only sign is positive so this one is obviously negative value so negative cos so 35 so uh, this one um, 35 is actually 180 minus 35 so this one is so 180 minus 135 so here we get 45 right so this one is 45 so this one is negative cos 45 or you can just use this one so so chatwa so 1 over negative cos 45 cos adjacent divided by hypotenuse so here adjacent here adjacent is here which is set 2 over 2 set 2 over 2 hypotenuse is 1 so 1 divided by set 2 over 2 is equal to 2 negative 2 over set 2 okay you can this one or this one to eliminate the set here multiply by set 2 by set 2 so here you get negative 2 set 2 divided by so this one here set 2 times set 2 get set 2 square which is equal to 2 so you can eliminate this one so you ended up with negative set 2 okay. see cotangent 45 so cotangent 45 is equal to 1 over tangent 45 so we know that this one is 45 degree right so we know that 45 is in the first quadrant so first quadrant all is positive so this one is tangent 45 so tangent is opposite divided by adjacent so opposite is set 2 over 2 right and adjacent is also set 2 over 2 
So this one one divided by divided by so set two over two. When you divide with fraction, you actually multiply opposite this one. So this one, this one, this one, this one. So actually you get one. So cotangent forty five is equal to one. So D cosecant negative forty five. So cosecant is actually one divided by sine negative forty five, right? So this one negative, you need to take out negative sine forty five, which is equal to. So here we know that sine one three five, and sine one sine forty five is the same, right? So this one you take negative first. So one divided by sine forty five is equal to set two over two, right? So this one when you divide fraction, you get negative two over set two. Or same with what we did before, multiply by set two over set two. So here you get negative two set two divided by two. So you can cancel out. So we get negative set two.